Hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel putting up the pom-poms in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install these pop smoke braids with this gorgeous rainbow color It's summertime so I get to play around with these colorful hair for the girls So stay tuned so you can see my process on how I install these braids on Lonnie's wavy tresses now before we go any further if you are new to our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family we would love to have you to all of my returning subscribers hey bestie how you doing hope you are being safe and blessed as always so let's go ahead and jump straight into this now i usually do like a story time while i am showing you guys how i'm doing the girl's hair so this one is pretty self-explanatory and i do slow it down a lot for you guys so you can see how i add in the hair for these feed-in braids so the story time today actually happened today as I went to go pick up the girls from daycare they go to daycare while I go to work so yeah this is not my full-time job I have an actual full-time job and then I do this on my spare time so yeah very busy mom anyway so today I go and pick up my girls from daycare and Lonnie's daycare teacher like is like waving me down before I even get to the entrance of the building like trying to call me over so she can talk to me so immediately I'm just like oh my gosh one of my kids of course has to be in trouble so I walk over there and I mean the lady just looks so distraught she looks really upset and she's she's like trying to explain to me what happened and of course the situation was involving Kehlani so she's telling me you know oh my gosh you know at lunch today um Kehlani was sitting with a group of kids and as she's sitting with the kids and she's talking I'm not even sure what they were talking about they um Lonnie just drops uh the the b word she just yells out bitch and everybody just like gets dead silence because you know she's cussing and and I just don't understand why she would you know do that so you know I'm sitting here listening to the lady I'm just like oh my gosh like you know and uh, let me go ahead and be very clear that my kids cussing is just not like a straw that breaks the camel's back for me I curse so I don't find it strange that my kids curse I curse around my kids my kids listen to music that involve those same words I feel like they're just words as long as she's not using them in a derogatory manner towards an adult being disrespectful I really I'm, I'm not that shook up about it I'm just not that could just be the neglectful mom in me whatever bad mom that is fine I'll take that but it's just not a big deal to me so I'm listening and I'm just like oh, okay I was like well I'll speak to Lonnie about it so I was just like well you know was she you know like yelling it at you was she saying it to, was she in an argument was she like calling you a bitch and the lady's just like well no 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 she wasn't I'm not even sure what was going on so I'm like okay well you had my child all day you didn't like ask her like what exactly happened to why she would say this word and Lonnie doesn't usually cuss like she's very mild-mannered when it comes to like expression herself like vocally um now she does throw like temper tantrums but as far as like legit like cussing people out and using like negative words Lonnie's never been that type of child so it was a little odd to me but I'm going to sit and ask my child hey what happened because obviously the teacher doesn't know I had no choice but to go and ask Lonnie what happened so as Lonnie comes out she's already like looking pitiful like oh my gosh I'm in trouble because I'm pretty sure the teacher told her I'm going to tell your mother that you're cussing and Kalani is aware that saying the bitch word is not a word that she is allowed to use at her young age she ought she's aware that she cannot use that word so we get to the car and I'm like hey Alani you know what's going on you cussing in daycare now like what's going on and so she was just like well we were all sitting at a table and you know we were singing a song and the song has this word in it and I was trying to skip over the word but I got tongue-tied and I ended up saying the word anyway so I'm like okay so this teacher done uh, like pulled me to the side made it seem like there's this like extreme emergency and you said it accidentally I said well did you try to explain that to your teacher Lonnie well when I tried to tell her it was an accident you know she told me you know that she don't want to hear it she you know I need to just sit down and she's just going to tell you so I'm like okay well I just feel like this situation could have been handled in the classroom. Like, if it was a simple mistake, then it should have been handled there. Now, if it would have came out that Lonnie was being disrespectful and calling the teacher a bitch, by all means, get the parent involved. But she said it on accident. Like, and then again, maybe I'm just a neglectful bad mom. If that's the case, whatever. But I just found it a little weird to me. Like, okay, she said she was singing a song and the song involved the word. She thought she was skipping the word, got tongue-tied and said it anyway. And she said immediately when she said 
said the word, she's like immediately covers her mouth and like, oh snap, I messed up. So I'm like, okay, so this obviously wasn't malicious intent to me. So Kalia, of course, is sitting there and she is like the tell all of tell all. Anytime there's some drama or something going on with the girls, she is the one to go to because she is always in everybody's business. So I go to her, well, Kalia, what song is this that y'all are singing that has this word in it that, you know, Lonnie accidentally says? So she was like, well, mommy, it's a little TikTok song that we sing all the time. They play it on TikTok all the time. Now, my kids do have TikTok, but they are under restricted mode. So it filters out a lot of the adult content that is on that platform. But occasionally something does slip through that they probably shouldn't be listening to. So I'm like, okay, well, explain to me exactly what is it that, you know, what's the song? Can you sing it for me? So, you know, Kalia starts like kind of humming it and I realize it's the Into the Thick of It song by the Backyardigans, a song that is for children. So I'm sitting there thinking like, okay, well, what part of this song has the, the bitch word in it, Kalia? And she was just like, well, you know, mommy is into the... And I'm just, you know, it didn't click to me what was going on. So I'm just like, okay. So I get home. I call, I tell my husband what happened. I call up my girlfriend because I think it's hilarious that, you know, Lonnie said it while trying to sing a song. And then when I tell my girlfriend what song it is, my girlfriend's just like, uh, that, that word ain't in that song, no. And I was like, I was thinking the same thing. But, you know, they done remixed it all across TikTok. Maybe there's a remix where it is involving the word. Because I know there is a remix where the Migos are hopping in there and they're, you know, doing their little ad-libs. I was like, maybe they ad lib the bitch in there. I don't know. So, you know, me and my girlfriend, we start researching into the thick of it. We're trying to pull it up and pull it up. We pulled up, like, so many versions of Into the Thick of It. It was not funny, but not one of them had the bitch word in it. So I'm like, okay, well, let me call my child down here. Because maybe I got confused on what song she claimed she was singing. So I call her down and clear, pull up this song on your TikTok. Because, you know, obviously, if you are able to listen to it on your TikTok, you can pull it up. So please pull it up to me and show me what it is that y'all are listening to. So she pulls it up for me. And she starts playing it. And sure enough, it's into the thick of it. And it's just, it's the regular version, not even the ad lib version. It's just the regular into the thick of it, into the thick of it. So I'm like, okay, okay, this is where, I'm like, Kalia, so where's the B word at? Where, where do you hear that at? And she was just like, mommy, it's right there. And so Kaylani comes down and she's looking at me like, mommy, don't you hear it? She's saying into the, of it. And I'm like, Child, no, it's not. It's saying into the thick of it. It is not saying into the bitch of it. These heifers been walking around singing the damn song all wrong and got in trouble for no damn reason because the song don't even even involve a cuss word. So if the teacher would have just like sat down and talked to my damn kids, she probably would have figured out that all oh, my kids are singing the song wrong anyway. And it just so happened that all the kids in the daycare are also singing the song wrong too because she said that that's how they all sing it at daycare. It's a bleep out into the thick of of it because they think it's saying bitch of it i i'm so sick of these damn kids All right, y'all. Well, that ends our story time for this tutorial. I hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial of me braiding up my beautiful Lonnie's hair. These braids lasted for two weeks. And that's usually about as much as I get for doing cornrows on Lonnie's hair because it's just so silky and soft. But thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial. If you stuck it out for this entire video, I greatly appreciate you. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.